All right, welcome to the next neural filter video, which is going to be about the colorized neural filter, which basically is going to turn a black and white image and like magic is going to turn it into color. It's going to create those colors on its own. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've got an image of a fantastic and a legendary photographer, Ansel Adams, and we are going to turn this into color. Now, whenever you open this and you're about to proceed with the whole neural filter thing, one thing you have to check is that it's in the correct mode. Okay, what I mean by that is if we go here in image and we see the mode of the image, can you see that right now it's set to grayscale? If it's set to grayscale, the colorized neural filter that we'll soon be seeing will not work. In fact, it'll tell you that time to come back here and change this to RGB so that we get the color channels, the, R, the red, green, and blue, the primary color channels, so that it'll be able to apply those colors and generate a colored photograph, okay? So the first thing, always make sure is that this is set to RGB color, and then you're gonna go to filter and open the neural filters. All right, so we are now gonna activate the colorize filter here and don't really have to do anything and like magic boom. Isn't that absolutely mind good? I mean, of course, look at the, what is done to, you know, Ansel Adams for sure, it's amazing. Some imperfections we'll talk about later, but just check what it's done to the background. I mean, this is so real, right? What is done to the leaves, it's absolutely fantastic. Even the skin tone on the hands is good. Yeah, probably the face has a bit of reds. We'll correct that, but even here, it's just fantastic. Just see this. We didn't even have to actually click, so I won't even call this one click because we literally just activated this and it did it, right? So fantastic. Uh, as always, you can you know, play around with some of the options, though you really don't have to. I'll tell you a better way to correct things. Uh, so one is that you will, you can even choose the different profiles here. Okay, it's gonna give you a slightly different look. I'm not clicking on any of these, okay? Because something has been happening. I did try this before. The moment I click on any of these profiles, it shows me an error and it just stops working right there, the filter. So I'm not gonna do that. You can check that out on your own, okay? But basically the sliders here, they'll just help you correct some of the things. For example, I just feel that a bit too much of the reds have been added. So in the cyan and the red, slider, I can just take this away from the reds. So just see, if I do this, can you see, just reduce the reds. If I obviously, if I take this the other way, it's gonna add more reds, which we don't want, you know, take it away. And I think now it slightly looks better though. Some parts of his hat like this are still red. That we won't be able to correct here. For that, we will have to take this back over to Photoshop and I'll show you how to do that, okay? Similarly, you can play around with the other sliders. I just feel maybe I would like to add a bit of warmth. So I'll just add a bit of yellowness to this, just a bit more. Yeah, and I think if I, yeah, that's fine. Uh, if you're noticing any color artifacts, you can play around with the slider. If you're noticing some additional noise come up here, you can use this slider. Apart from that, you really don't have to do anything else. And then just because we wanna work just a bit on the hat because sometimes that can happen when you use this filter. There might be one or two areas which you want to work with. It's a good idea to just output this as a separate layer, okay? And then we can just do some things to this. So we can just hit okay. It's gonna create a new layer. And then on this, we can just open up a hue saturation filter or adjustment function like this and just take away from the reds, okay? So we can just Go to reds here and let me just zoom into the photograph. So go just slightly zoom out. Okay, you can see his hat now. We've selected red, so it's only gonna work on the reds and just decrease the saturation. But I'm only keeping my eyes on the hat, okay? Because it's gonna make some other changes also, but we have a mask for that, okay? So as long as the hat comes out nice, I'm just also gonna change the hue of the reds just to add some yellowness here, okay? Or take away the reds like the other way, yeah. I think now it looks better. Play around with the lightness slider also, make it brighter. I think yeah, this is looking good. So only pay attention to the hat. We've gone from this to this, yeah? This looks good. And now what we can do is we can just invert this layer mask. That means we can hide whatever we just did on the entire image. So I can just double click on the mask and click on invert. That's gonna turn this from white to black. So now it's just 
hidden everything that we've done with the hue saturation function, okay? Now, I can just take a paintbrush, select white, that is gonna start revealing wherever we paint, and just set the flow of the brush to something like 20%, 30%, so that we do this in a subtle manner, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in, and just on the hat, wherever I start painting like this, is gonna reveal whatever we did with the hue saturation function. Again, this is not a part of the AI, but AI will also not always be perfect. So go humans. Sometimes we will just have to correct AI also, okay? So okay, we can take this and just a bit of the redness that I still notice in his face. For the face, we really have to decrease the flow, okay? We can use the same thing that we did just to take away a bit of this. Like this, a bit of this. I think that is fine, maybe a bit on the ear. So now if you see the before and after, you see, just taking out that bad looking red thing. Now if I zoom out, and if we just compare this with the original, that is absolutely fantastic and flawless. I'll see you in the next neural filter. Bye for now.